Hi everyone and welcome to my channel! My name is Kar and I'm back with an exciting new vlog. This time I traveled to Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia and spent four days exploring this amazing city. In this episode my twin sister and I check out the Petronas Towers, we have lunch at this super authentic restaurant called Yutki, we head over to a popular bookstore Book Access, dinner and drinks at Havana and I explore the city at night by myself. Alrighty, backtrack about 16 hours, I was saying goodbye to my dog Tano, cause with me you never really know after how many months I'll be coming back home. Ugh, I just love him so much. Anyways, here we go again, I've done this airport routine so many times now, but it never grows old. And I just love the airport, it's like all rules go out the window, you can day drink and wear a pajama and no one really cares. Anyways, I had a flight transfer in Doha before arriving in Kuala Lumpur late in the evening, and the flight was pretty good, I slept the first flight and then not so much during the second one, but I watched some movies, had some drinks and before I knew it I arrived in Kuala Lumpur. By the way it's my first time in Malaysia and I'm seeing my twin sister again after three months of not seeing her and I'm so excited to explore the city together. And here we go, twins reunited! reunited again! Yay! <laughs> I'm in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia and look who's here! The, the twins, twins are reunited! united. <laughs> Excellent. Let me get my Starbucks out of you because that's yeah, exactly. embarrassing. Yeah, that's not real coffee. Anyways, I arrived yesterday evening and went straight to bed because it was really late. And But then two and a half hours later I woke up again at three in the morning thinking it was nine. Like I even walked over to the curtains to open them up and Car woke up, she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, it's morning. I was, I was already awake. It wasn't. It wasn't morning. Yeah, it was 3 a.m. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to have no, but then we had an hour of, of midnight of banter. Midnight banter, exactly. Yeah. And uh, now we're going to go check out the, the, the Petronas foot. Towers. One and the other one's behind it. Somewhere, anyways. The we're gonna go check out the Twin Towers. Twin Miliamas! Right on Petronas. It does. That's what I said. Yeah? That's what I said yesterday on the plane. Shout out Not to, on the plane, to the cab driver Big coming Harry here. <laughs> like it sounds like Harry Potter. Anyway, so we're gonna go check that out. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't catch it. The, the little, no, I didn't catch the sign. I caught you running like an idiot. <laughs> But the sign, the sign of, of uh, crossing the street looks like this hunchback guy that's like... <laughs> and he's like, he's hauling ass, folks. He's hauling ass, yeah. Uh, you don't get a lot of seconds to cross the street here, but that's okay. We'll whip us into shape, Kuala Lumpur will whip us into shape. Come on, we're reunited again. Are you as excited as I am? Yes. <laughs> I have it on tape. You mustn't lie. I am excited. No, I, I truly am excited. Me too. Very happy. <laughs> <laughs> For those who are wondering what do cabs look like in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, they're red. They're bright blood red. I would call that maroon. That's not maroon. No. Alrighty, so obviously one of the first things I wanted to do was check out the Petronas Towers because when you think of KL you think of these towers. So this is our first stop of the day. Also as far as my first observations go, I think this is the perfect example of an urban jungle, literally. You've got these skyscrapers covered in plants and lots of greenery around as well and it's also very clean. We have arrived at what is often named uh, Kuala Lumpur or Malaysia's crown jewel. There's two of them. They're the tallest twin towers in the world since 1996. 88 stories tall, 451.9 meters, so it's pretty huge. Two identical towers with a bridge in the middle. And this is an architectural wonder and an icon of obviously Malaysia. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so if you want to visit this giant, you just head to the main building entrance. You can buy your ticket here or online. We got ours just on the spot, which costs us about 20 euro per person. And there is a different price for foreigners and Malaysian residents, and kids under three have free entry. The ticket will allow you access to both the Sky Bridge and the top floor. Just FYI, you get 10 minutes at the Sky Bridge and 15 minutes at the 86th floor, and they're very precise with the times as you get divided into time slots with a group of max 15 people. The view is really beautiful from the tower, and you can also see the fountain at the bottom where they do the light show every night. on the sky bridge in uh, Petronas Towers. This is also the highest uh, bridge between two buildings in the world. Whoa. 
want to say it. Say it. That's <laughs> <Nadine. laughs> I'm such an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome and enjoy the visit. This is the 86th floor where we have our 15 minutes of time to spend. And believe me when I say 10 minutes of those 15 minutes were spent making sure Noah didn't demolish the tiny replica display of the Petronas Towers. One minute was spent on making some nice pictures here. Three minutes were spent trying to spy on people in their homes with the binoculars that they have set up there. And the other one minute me and Gar spent bickering on who gets to use the binocular first. So yeah, time well spent I would say. No, but all joking aside, we had a lot of fun on this visit and it's definitely one thing you should do when you come to visit Kuala Lumpur. If you're only interested in a viewpoint, then this is a great choice for that or you can opt for the Kuala Lumpur Sky Tower, which costs around 17 euros and gets you entrance to the sky box, observation deck, sky deck and the choice to do a vertigo-inducing walk at the edge of the KL Tower strapped into a safety harness. Here they're trying to peep into someone's house. Oh, I'm nudity. <laughs> this is funny. Look, I'm holding the towers. Car, wait. Oh. oh. I'm putting it on Cara's head. Cara's in between the towers. <laughs> Doing this with my hands. So the panel that I'm using now, this is a lot of interesting stuff. It says that there's, oh, 50. them all oh my so once you finish you can start again oh. yeah exactly <laughs> and the pinnacle features a spy a sp spire with 23 segments and a ring ball comprised of 14 rings of varying diameters so on the 83rd floor you can still look at the view and then you can have some pictures made and there's a gift shop here as well yeah, I that was it for our experience. I liked it. It was very nice. Beautiful view. I liked it. Did you like it? I liked it. It was nice. It was nice. But it's also like every observation deck I've ever been in. Yeah, know? of course. Every, yeah. every big city has yeah. those. So. Just a different view. Different view. But also similar. Yeah. <laughs> Off to have some lunch now and I found this next spot online which is very popular amongst locals. So I found out that Kuala Lumpur actually has three major ethnicities which is 45% Malay, 42% Chinese and 10% Indian. So walking around the city you see a lot of Chinese restaurants and this place I highly recommend. It's called Yutki, it's been around for a long time, looks very simple but the food was actually delicious. Restaurant. Absolutely delicious. We, we ordered and about two minutes later our dish came. So super fast service, very nice people as well. It's delicious. It's really simple. Okay, so the plate doesn't look like a Michelin star restaurant, but it tastes really good. And we ordered the multi babi before this one. And then the pork chop. And we also ordered for it, just ordered the high life and it's been open for about 90 years, so it's a generational restaurant. And I see why so many locals come here, uh, tourists as well. It's great. Plus, finally, a nice iced tea that isn't super, super sweet. It's so perfect. Cheers! This dish is something else, guys. Alright, so I read about this place online. It's like a. Thank you. I'm gonna try the pork chop. Yeah, the taxi driver was like surprised that we were going. Trying the roti babi. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so the dishes don't look like. You know, super refined, but they're actually very delicious and very cheap as well. For the roti babi, you pay 14 ringgit, which is two and a half euros about, and the other one, the pork chop, is 18, so okay, three and a half euros, which is super cheap. And it's a cute place, and it's really crowded. Usually there's um, some... It's very authentic. There we go, it get my is, favorite travel word. It is authentic. <laughs> Charming. <laughs> this is called kaya roll. It's filled with kaya jam, and kaya jam is uh, made of coconut. 
And it's what this place is famous for. I still find it insane that you can have a full meal and then some for two people for just 10 euros. Like what the actual hell, it's, it's crazy. I really didn't spend a lot of money in this city. Food and hotel were both super cheap and I think my main expense were actually the touristy things. Okay, we just stopped at the, the hotel for a second to freshen up and I had a little nap as well because I'm super jet lagged. And now we're going to a bookstore here in Kuala Lumpur called Book, Ex Book Excess. There's several. We're going to the Book Excess uh, Kuala Lumpur, KL. For those amongst you that still enjoy to read actual books and not Kindles, this is the place to be. They have such great bargains at this store as well. Also, look at how beautiful this place is. I mean, I bet a lot of people also just come here to make a cool Instagram snap, but that's up to you, of course. So there's like eight of these book access stores in Kuala Lumpur and they're all kind of spectacular. So definitely try and visit one during your Kuala Lumpur trip. So we spent about an hour here and Kara literally bought all the books, which I carried back home like a donkey. But in return, she did make some great pictures for me for the gram. All right, so this bookstore is a little bit of a maze. And where you turn, there's another aisle with books. Uh, but it's really amazing. It's super, it's, it's super like aesthetically pleasing. Uh, this bookstore and tons of books and they're all priced really well because it's like from bookstores that bought too many books or old editions so it's uh, it's a great place for a good bargain and lots of children's books as well and yeah definitely come here on your visits it's lovely i bought everything car bought everything <laughs> hold on i don't know <laughs> all for now I two books for me about single motherhood <laughs> that works hanging in yeah. <laughs> It's nearing that time, guys. Sunsets, you know what that means. Cocktail o'clock. Um, luckily, we're staying in a super great area with lots of popular bars and restaurants. This particular area is called Bukit Bintang and is, in my opinion, the best area to stay in Kuala Lumpur. It's super central and close to all the sites. It also has various shopping malls and the famous Jalan Alor, which is the street food street. <laughs> um, and I also felt super safe here. I went out by myself multiple times during my stay in Kuala Lumpur and didn't feel unsafe once. Anyways, here we're at Havana, which is a popular choice for food and drinks. And our hotel was just around the corner, which was great. And guys, the cocktails here, oh my god. I highly recommend the whiskey sour. They were excellent. And also get these tacos. Do yourself a favor. They were delicious. I really like the city. I think it's like a cool balance between city and nature. There's a lot of green and sort of like jungle meets. It's like really the perfect city that encapsulates that urban jungle. Yeah, it kind of looks like from a movie, you know? It does. Like, like um, the fifth yeah. element or something. A little bit, yeah. Or, or um, like half I shabby, half chic. Like legend, like the city over, the jungle overtakes the city. Yeah. A lot of beautiful skyscrapers and then also small houses in between it. So it's like a cool combination. And um, currently we're at Havana which is a bar uh, restaurant, but then at night it turns into a club upstairs. Woo! It's very popular because yesterday I drove by faster when I came from the airport and there were people lining up. Yeah? Music was popping. Yeah. I need to get a date. I need to go out tonight. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's really cool. I, I really like Kuala Lumpur so far. That's a good vibe. Really good vibe. Yeah, well, I, I meant more like from a movies, like in the sense that it's so modern, but also kind of run down. It's like mixed together of city and and modern. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, it's about 10.30 in the evening and I am going out to check out the live symphony uh, water show, which is a fountain that lights up during the night and has this beautiful music slash colored water show, as the name sort of says. And I'm going alone because Car is not feeling well, so she's obviously also has no water, she has to stay home. And yeah, gonna do some night things. So I'll probably also go past the Petronas Towers to check it out, what it looks like at nighttime. And yeah, that's it. So you can see him at the towers, but I miss the show. Of course. Of course I missed this. So I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow, see if I can catch it then. 
These towers really light up during the night. It's actually like staring straight at the sun. Um, but it's also quite a spectacle to see. And it's funny too, because you will literally see hundreds of guys being forced to take photos and videos of their girlfriends in front of this tower. And there's plenty of picturesque spots here at night in Kuala Lumpur. Another one is the Saloma Link Bridge, just a five minute walk from the Petronas Towers. And this bridge lights up at night and has become a huge tourist attraction since it was built in 2020. It was actually built to shorten commuter time from one part of the city to another. Um, and the bridge is also named after the late Malaysian Singaporean singer Saloma. All right, so I'm walking around the Petronas Towers, right there, behind me. And I'm surprised by how busy it still is. Like there's so many people around. I've just been walking around in this area because there are a few things I wanted to see during the nighttime. And so many people around, I feel super safe. And it's like crowded. Well, obviously it's also Saturday, so I'm sure that has something to do with it. But um, so far so good. I like the city. That's where I'm going. Okay, I've arrived at the Traders building and I'm going to the 33rd floor to the Sky Bar to go check it out. I'm riding solo and I usually don't go for drinks by myself, but girl gotta do what a girl gotta do and car sleeping with a baby. So here we go. Let's go check it out. I'm curious because you can see the Petronas stars from there. It's like a very nice view. So I definitely wanted to give it a try. And this is one of the things you can do at nighttime here in Kuala Lumpur. Believe it or not, I really have never actually been out for drinks by myself, so it was actually a good test for me to try it out once. Drinking alone didn't bother me as much, but I had to film for the vlog, and I honestly do think people took pity on me for a second there. <laughs> anyway, Sky Bar is one of the many spots in KL to have a drink with a view. Some other spots that come highly recommended are Banyan Tree or Marini's on 57. I'm not the coolest person having drinks here by myself. <laughs> people are walking in, walking past me, and I swear to God, in their eyes, they have this look of this poor, poor girl <laughs> sitting here by herself. <laughs> but uh, the view is very nice, so I'm not bothered. All right. I like Sky Bar. It was a little bit empty, uh, but they apparently were closing early tonight, so, but it was nice. And I'm going back to the hotel. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in, everyone, and stay tuned for the next episodes of me exploring everything Kuala Lumpur has to offer. And don't forget to like and subscribe below. Terima kasih!